Man and Barnacle Boy, my heroes. Hit me with the water ball. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Eh, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh, uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Could be. Hey, Sponge Kid, you really want to help out? Oh boy, would I? Okay then, uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy. Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? Is it the TV repair kid again? Maybe he can rub my feet. Ew. Kid, if I were you, I'd get going. Fast. Bikini Bottom News Update. We're getting unconfirmed reports that the robot menace is emanating from the chum bucket. The proprietor, Plankton, has released the following statement. Hear me now. I'll crush you all beneath my... And now back to your regular programming, Retirement Home Girls Gone Wild. Boy. Ah! You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes, a bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them. Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday, and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office! Away! Go see the computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. It's not just any sponge, it's Super Sponge, soaking up crime. I feel like a new sponge. Ah! 
There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like... Like a new sponge. The Mermelair, secret fortress of the wrinkly superheroes Medman and Barnacle Boy. Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, police. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they... Never mind! Uh, SpongeBob, how do I get out of here? Well, that depends. Do you want the booby-trapped or the non-booby-trapped exit? Non-booby-trapped, please. Then go that way. <laughs> or maybe it was that way.
I've got a job for somebody who can throw things. Leave it to us. I'm great at throwing things. All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. Throw, throw the throw fruit? No, throw the throw fruit. Throw the tofu. You might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode. I mean, they tend to explode. in the morning. Smells like victory. I get it! You've just met the Spongenator. It shines. be glad to have this back.
think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Hey, I know you! You're that guy! Hmm. I'm gonna need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. You think you can handle this? I can see Squidward's house from up here. And he's not wearing any pants. Oh wait, he never wears pants. Now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. Just start turning those cylinders. Gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Now there's enough power. What do you need all that power for? Why, my foot bath, of course. Here, have a golden spatula. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Now, how to get some bath salts? It shines! Fresh like a spring breeze! In order for me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the overwrite buttons spread throughout the Mermelair. The first one is here. Press the buttons! Got it! When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Return here! Got it! Are you listening to me? Listening! Got it! SpongeBob, press all of the security override buttons throughout the Mermelair. Then return here and press the master shutdown button. 